Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I am a crew YouTuber that's trying to have a year long no buy. And today I am using a palette that I haven't been using in a long while. I got two comments about using this palette and I was like, let's do it, it has been such a long while. So today I am using the Spectral palette from LH Cosmetics. And it's no secret that I love LH Cosmetics. And the palette looks like this. This is a really fun pastel palette. And I haven't used this as much as I should have been using it as like with all of my palettes. So today is the day when I'm playing with this. And I'm also thinking about uh, using some other from LH Cosmetics on my face. It's no secret that I love the Infinity palette. Mine looks like this. I'm going to use this for highlighter and maybe contour as well. And I think I will use the Infinity Glam for a blush. I will see how I will do, but um, yeah, I'm going to use this today's Spectra palette and the way I look. And I think I know what I want to do, so just let's do this but to say that i know exactly what i want to do is like <laughs> i know that i want to use abstract this one because it is an amazing shade but then i don't know if i want to do something purple or green or if i want to do purple and green or pink haven't decided on that one yet so i don't know if i i don't know what i want to take in my crease but I think I will take this one eerie I think it's pronounced I will take that in my crease and if you have been on my channel for a while it's no secret that I do really love LH cosmetics I don't use their products that much on camera but I use them I often use the lipsticks, the magic sticks, and from the Infinity palette I've almost pen a whole shadow because I've been using it for my eyebrows and I have a pen in one of the others because I've used it as a highlighter. And I have really been following LH Cosmetics. I've been following Linda, Linda Halbey that is the creator of the brand and the makeup artist. I have been following her for years and I bought the crayons at release date and they have been some of my absolute favorite eye pencils and some of the lipsticks I've been using so much on if I just want something on my lips, and especially during summer, because they are have SPF 15. But like YouTube-wise, I haven't been using it that much. And the, the brushes, like these brushes, these are my most used brushes I have. This is the 303 and 304. And also like the highlighter brush, I do love and I use one of the brushes as a blush brush and I love that one as well. Astrid is laying in the window looking at me and I guess she's wondering what I'm doing. So I have been supporting and loving LH Cosmetics since the launch. And it is some of my most used products. But for some reason uh, it feels like you don't want to see something with LH Cosmetics. And that is the reason why I don't use the products on camera that much. But uh, I always lay, like get good views on these. So I don't know what's up with me. But maybe I should start to use it more okay this is maybe a little bit darker 
But that's maybe not that strange because I've been packing this on forever. And maybe I want to do like a darker look. I actually will continue with this. That I had in my crease and take it on half of my lid. And I don't know when this video is coming up, but soon in like four days they are releasing some new products. I guess it's going to be an eyeshadow palette and some kind of, I don't know if it's going to be a primer or what it's going to be. They've sneak peeked some things on their Instagram. But I'm guessing it is an eyeshadow palette and I do have all the palettes from LH Cosmetics, like all of them. And it's going to be a little bit sad to not buy the new one. Maybe I will buy it next year or maybe I will fail my no buy. I don't know. But it looks like it's from the blurry pixelated picture they shown on Instagram. It looks like a pinkish palette. Or a purpley palette. And uh, I think it's going to be pinkish, bluish, purpley, springy palette. Okay, it feels like this is going to be a little bit messy. I don't know why. Okay, it's now maybe I actually want to. I want to win with this occult, this one, and have it like deep and down in my outer B. Be a bit down out here, just to have a little bit of dimension to this. I actually think I've only used this palette maybe two times on my YouTube channel. I did a first impression on it and then I did use some of the shades. Me and Debbie from Vinyl Beauty, we did an, a New Year's look with LH Cosmetics and uh, then I used, I think it was maybe only abstract I used from this I don't know but I think that is like the only two times that I've used this palette and I do not know why okay so now I will go in with I think I will take faint in here and then I will put abstract over the purple Start with the green faint. Take it in here. And also, I want to. Maybe this is <laughs> sounding strange for you that lives in the US. But when this pa palette came, I think it was so much bigger in Sweden than it was in the US because LH Cosmetics is a brand that is available in stores in Sweden and this is not like a typical palette that you have in stores in Sweden online yes but in stores no and I think that Linda and her team and the brand they have been like adding something new to the Swedish makeup market and I think that is really fun and he is amazing Linda I have been following her for such a long time okay now I'm going in with abstract on my purple part and we just want to put this over I don't know if this because this is not like that 
opaque. This is more like shimmer. It's now I don't know. Do I want to? Maybe I should spray it. This I usually don't do. I usually don't spray when I'm going to use it. On the outer part or on my lid. I usually spray when I'm going to use it. In my inner corner. Because it feels like this is going to fuck up the rest. Maybe not. Okay, this is looking amazing. I'm just going in with the green shimmer to blend this and oh, a really cool effect. I think I just could have used some, uh, my glitter primer, but this, this worked as well. I do really, really like this look. I think it turned out super cool. Okay, I am so pleased with this. And I love, I don't know if you can see it, but where the abstract, the blue shimmer and um, the green shimmer meet. Looks amazing. It's almost like I want to put. Okay. I think I just should have done like a whole cut crease because the green now in here doesn't seem near as fun as this. But yeah, I will have it like this. So I will fix my face and I will use something from these two on my face and I will not do it on camera but I will tell you which ones I've used for contour, blush and highlight. So this is the finished look for my face. Um, from the Infinite palette I did use Maffei as my contour and Milky Way as my highlighter and I love this Milky Way. It has been one of my absolute favorite highlighters. I think you can see the pan in it. And for my blush I did use one from Infinity Glam and Calypso. I do like this. It's really shimmery but I do like this blush and this and um, eyeshadow. And from the Spectral palette, I have used four shades. I have used this faint that is pretty like, when I only took it on my eyeshadow base, I think it's a little bit dull. I still like it though, but it's a little bit dull if you compare it when I put it here over the abstract. And then I used Airy, Airy in my crease and on my lid and abstract out here and sprayed it. It's amazing and also occult to deepen it down. And we are not finished yet. <laughs> For my waterline I did use uh, Dairy Mood from Allerg yeah, Allerg Cosmetics. I don't think they have this left because this isn't vegan. And this is so freaking old. And on my lips I used Magic Mauve. No. Mellow Mauve. Majestic in Mellow Mauve. This one. I, I do love this lipstick. And yeah, this is my look with the Spectra palette. And I hope that you have liked this. I, I do like this palette. But I don't use it that much. Because I... I think it's a hard palette to do looks with. To like combine it with other palettes I think would be more easier for me but to only do with this I don't really know what to do and I do like this look and this abstract is one amazing shade. 
but yeah i guess that that was all for this video i hope that you liked it i do really like this look i love the abstract the most and i do like that it's not that bright and colorful it's a little bit toned down maybe not toned down but a little bit little bit dull fast fast but not in a bad way i hope that you get what i mean so yeah that was all for this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye